Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today we're going to examine a mystery that has been surrounding Tangled the series. Let's dive into understanding Varian's mysterious blue hair streak and discuss his possible connection to the Moonstone. Believe it or not, hair is a prominent symbol in the Tangled world. Rapunzel's golden hair was present to reveal to us that she carried the magic of the Sundrop within her. Perhaps his hair turned black when she used the Decay incantation, and later on, Cassandra's bright blue hair showed that she had bound herself to the dark power of the Moonstone. When the power of the Sundrop and the Moonstone are used, taken, and bonded within someone, that person's hair is clearly altered. Through hair, we are shown when these heavenly entities are present. So when the young alchemist Varian prominently had a blue streak within his hair, it seemed like there had to be some purpose behind it. But I have to admit that it wasn't the first thing I noticed. When we met Varian, we were shown his blue hair streak, but at least for me, it was a detail that went right past me. Over time though, I began to notice that theories were beginning to grow around this character and his mysterious looking hair. While I was tracking what was going on with the Black Rocks, Cassandra, and Zantiri, other Black Rockers like Emmy and Mel were able to notice something going on with Varian. And I'll leave their fantastic write-ups linked down below about Varian and his hair, which helped me piece together my thoughts today. Sure, some individuals in the Tangled world have varying colors in their hair, but it's clear through portrayals of Varian that this isn't some slight variation in his hair, but a completely unique characteristic. Varian's friends and family noticed this hair as well. We see from a picture of Varian as a baby that he had his blue streak, likely meaning that he was born with this trait. His mother and his father, Kieran, had red and black hair respectively, so this blue streak couldn't have come naturally from them. And there really couldn't be some simple solution for this like he had chemicals sprayed upon him or explosion changed his hair. Alchemy wasn't the cause. We also see from Rapunzel's journal that everyone in Corona notices this hair streak as well, since Varian is drawn with a clear, almost glowing blue color in his hair. After a while of seeing these theories, I just kind of assumed, I think like a lot of other fans, that eventually Varian's prominence in the show would return along with a more fleshed out backstory about who he was, but unfortunately that never came. While I do adore the moment where Kieran finally tells Varian he's proud to fight by his son's side with a rendition of Let Me Make You Proud playing in the background, gotta love those musical callbacks, and I love that he became the royal engineer, the magic within Varian feels a bit unresolved. Sure, the story wasn't built around him specifically, but there felt like there was a lot of mystery set up around him that I, for one, still hoped we would see officially established and answered. After we had experienced so much foreshadowing for Cassandra's betrayal and Zontiri's return, and we knew for sure from Cassandra's journey that the Moonstone altered a user's hair to become blue, there seemed like there had to be some type of connection there. I just felt like maybe the explanation for this deliberately included characteristic of Varian was that he had a bond with the Moonstone. And this is an idea that when you track back feels like it is all building to something incredible. I mean, even Rapunzel appears to believe it to be true. As the Black Rocks began to descend upon Corona, Varian began to almost appear as a wielder of the Black Rocks and a messenger to Rapunzel to tell her to follow her destiny during Rapunzel's nightmares. Face your destiny or all you hold in your heart will be in grave danger. And after she wakes up from these dreams, Rapunzel begins to sense that Varian is linked with what was going on with her and her kingdom. Perhaps these nightmares were foreshadowing something more than Varian's inevitable clash against Rapunzel. I'll link my videos down below on Varian's fault, evil, and redemption if you'd like to hear my thoughts on those events in Varian's life, but right now it's really just important to understand that Rapunzel had an understanding about Varian that no one else seemed to have at the time. The rocks, my hair, Varian, it's like they're all connected. What we know now is that these rocks were hunting down the Sundrop so that she could neutralize the Moonstone and allow them to be returned to the heavens. Maybe the reason the Black Rocks were communicating that desire through Varian was because he was already connected to the Moonstone himself, and maybe that's why Varian was at the forefront of Rapunzel's mind when she was examining her visions of the future. 
Later on in Corona, when Varian is assisting Rapunzel at stopping the fear-creating red rock sent by Cassandra, he attempts to claim that he is just ordinary. You're the embodiment of the sundrop, you know, the, the wondrous magical sundrop. For ordinary people like me, fear is just a little bit more debilitating. But Rapunzel sees through that. There is nothing ordinary about you. Sure, Rapunzel is one who believes in the abilities of all people, but at the same time, we are being shown again that the Sundrop believes Varian to be someone who has potential, is unique, and is far closer to wondrous magic than he realizes. And we got to see that in play when Varian's father was freed from the Unbreakable Ember in a moment that I believe is one of the strongest points for the Moonstone existing within Varian. Using the decay incantation that she had learned at the Great Tree, Rapunzel breaks breaks apart the ember that encased Kirin, but once Kirin is freed and Varian's attempts at releasing Rapunzel from the trance fail, he touches her, which results in his gloves melting away without any harm coming to him. Now, this may not seem like a big deal until we look back at what happened to Cassandra when she touched Rapunzel to awaken her while she was using the Decay Incantation. While Cassandra had her hand and forearm scorched before our eyes by the dark magic, which was disturbing and tragic to say the least, Varian is completely unaffected, which makes it seem like he's being somehow protected. I remember watching this play out for the first time and being baffled by his resistance, but it was really only once I began to explore this theory that I finally felt like there was a solution to Varian withstanding this literal death magic. And I'd love to know below the like button if you had similar questions about Varian when he confronted the Decay Incantation, because I feel like I couldn't have been alone in questioning this moment. Now, later on, when Zontiri uses that same incantation with the Sundrop and the Moonstone in her possession, Varian is harmed, but maybe this just alludes to a resistance he had to the Moonstone's magic. It could be the case that the protective Moonstone power in Rapunzel could not overwhelm the magic that was within him. And maybe his connection to the Moonstone was the reason that his words were able to get through to Rapunzel, while her friends could not. Clearly, the individual who uses the Decay Incantation goes unharmed by the magic, so maybe Moonstone magic within Varian keeps him from being harmed from the Decay Incantation until it's released with its full strength. I also think Varian's ability to decipher the Demanitus Scroll seems like it could be derived from him embodying a portion of the Moonstone. While Zontiri, an ancient evil entity who had spent an entire mortal life researching the heavenly objects, was unwilling or unable to piece together the incantations originally deciphered by Lord Demanitus, Varian's few weeks with it allowed him to understand all of its secrets. I know Varian is brilliant, but maybe some of that genius derived from the sentient entity within the Moonstone. I even think how Varian could have absorbed this magic makes a lot of sense and would have fit into the story perfectly. Varian may have spent his childhood growing up in Old Corona, which meant he never came into contact with the Moonstone directly, but his father had. You see, decades ago, Varian's father was a citizen of the Dark Kingdom and a member of the Brotherhood, a legion of warriors who swore to protect the Moonstone from the world. At one point, 25 years before Rapunzel left Corona for the first time, the ruler of the Dark Kingdom, King Edmund, touched the Moonstone, which resulted in a massive blast that Kirin was present to experience. Maybe in that explosion, Kirin took on some of the magic of the Moonstone and passed that power onto Varian, similarly to how Queen Ariana consumed the Golden Flower and gave the magic of the Sundrop to Rapunzel. Perhaps the reason Rapunzel's hair became completely golden was because the entirety of the Golden Flower's magic was granted to her, which allowed her to become the embodiment of the Sundrop, while only a strip of Varian's hair transformed because only a fraction of the immense strength of the Moonstone was granted to him, while the Opal still existed out in the world. And do you know who else had a strip of magical hair appear when the magic of the Moonstone was granted to her? That was Rapunzel. When Raps first touched the Moonstone's black rocks, her hair began to be transformed and the first aspect that was altered when her hair's transformation began was in fact only a strip of her hair, very similarly to the one found on Varian. So I think it is absolutely reasonable to believe that the Moonstone only manifested itself within a section of Varian's hair. 
While we may never learn more about Varian's story, this hidden tale of receiving his streak may still exist, for Kieran might have truths he will confess as his son grows up. You see, when Kieran was being encased in the uncontrollable and indestructible Amber, he wrote up a letter to his son that was burned away when he was eventually released. Kieran went into writing those words, believing that they could be the last he ever shared with his son. He scribed an entire page, but when Varian asked what was on it, his father gave him a simple answer. Well, what, what did it say? I, I need to know. All it said was, I'm so proud of you, Varian. While I do believe, Kieran, that this purpose may have been what drove him to write this note, I also think it's possible that there was more information that he could have shared. Maybe he explained the origin of his son's hair streak and where he really came from. Perhaps Kieran was going to share with his son what he believes Varian's destiny to be, but maybe the hair streak on Varian was only ever meant to be a stylistic decision, and maybe it was never even meant to have any meaning behind it. But even though the possibilities are limitless, which means our imagination can run wild as we continue to appreciate these brilliant characters and stories in the world of Tangled, who I absolutely miss, I believe there may still be a hidden solution hinted at throughout the series. I believe it's absolutely possible that someday Kieran will share with the man that he raised that the blue streak he grew up with derived from a deep connection to the Moonstone. But let me know down below what your thoughts and theories are surrounding Varian's hair. Also make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.